Imagine finding parking on the spot, or the hottest restaurant in town, all in seconds. And you can today, with the magic of augmented reality. Augmented reality is the ability to insert and overlay digital and virtual information into the real world. Track Lord is the marketing and media relations manager for Matayo, the worldwide leader in augmented reality technology. Their mobile application, Janayo, is an augmented reality browser that allows the user to see the world in a whole new way. Uh, you just be able to recognize things and see things and immediately get information uh, from them using your smartphone. Imagine the ability to browse life like we browse the web. It might seem revolutionary, but the technology started in 1962 when cinematographer Morton Haley created the Sensorama, a simulator with visuals, sound, vibration, and smell. But augmented reality's first real-world application was the heads-up display in fighter jets. Symbols are projected onto a transparent glass screen, which takes away the distraction of looking at gauges and allows pilots to aim their weapons better. Heads-up displays are now starting to appear in cars. BMW is one of the pioneers. The basic principle is it displays all the information such as speed, navigation. It projects it from a console on the dashboard onto the glass. Only the driver can see this. Augmented reality will ease activities such as travel and shopping and can even be applied to medicine and education. With the technology's rapid development, its potential is endless. It's very, very popular as a marketing medium, basically. It is a way to sort of drive people to advertising and retain and, you know, engagement. Many brands have adopted this new marketing strategy, including IKEA. The 2013 IKEA catalog uh, came with an augmented reality application designed to recognize various pages in the catalog and, and overlay, for instance, animated 3D furniture. And instead of seeing a video, you actually look at the catalog with your camera in the app and it visualizes the bed right there on the page and the drawers open and shut and show you exactly how it works. Ever wonder how this will look in your home? There's an app for that as well. Mitsubishi has worked with Matayo to create an app that allows customers to see products at their actual size inside their home. Augmented reality is also used to replace manuals and show real-time instructions. Another great use is in art museums, where your smartphone replaces long audio tours. When you point your device at each painting, an overlay of information displays in real time. But the technology is not just for mobile apps. One of the uh, really first huge uh, deployments of augmented reality in the commercial space was the Lego example. So now in every Lego store in the world, you can walk in, grab a box off the shelf, hold it up to this flat screen that has a camera on top, and visualize the entire model animated right on top of the box. <laughs> it's so successful that Lego internally calls it the nag factor, because once a kid sees the, the, the model on top of the box, there's no way the parents are going home without buying that. But the main point of augmented reality is not that it's mobile. Further interaction using vision, really. I mean, that's what augmented reality is about. It's about vision. Um, and of course, the glasses. And Google is at the forefront. Google Glass allows users to take pictures and video, get directions, send messages, and get information simply by speaking to the glasses but their expected launch in 2014 has been met with criticism. Distracting users is the obvious problem, leading lawmakers in West Virginia to propose a ban on drivers from wearing Google Glass. Privacy is also a concern, with many cinemas and bars saying they will ban the glass as well. But there is one major hurdle augmented reality faces. It's really gonna come down to the devices. You know, we, we can only go so far with the software. And once these device manufacturers get serious about it, that's really the point where we'll see it everywhere. Once the hardware catches up, we can expect to see things differently. 
it's really about what we call the augmented city. And that's sort of this vision that uh, in the near future, every surface, every object, every environment becomes some sort of trigger or portal to the digital. Hollywood has had their visions of augmented reality, from heads-up displays in Iron Man, heads-up display, check, to computers in Minority Report, and maps in Avatar. And now we are closer than ever to making those visions a reality.